Question 1. The diagram below illustrates the trajectory of a fired missile from point P at 250 meters per second. If the missile hits point Q after 40 seconds, calculate the line PQ. Solution. I'm going to divide this into two. Divide this into two. Now, first, we are given, let's list out what we are given. Given, we are given that uh, the time of flight, let's state that, we are given the time, the time of flight, T, the time of flight, T, to be equals to 40 seconds from the equation. We are given that. Now, we are also given, there is an angle here, theta, given to us. We are given that theta is equals to 42 degrees. We are given that. And again, let's check out what, if, what else are we given. Okay, we are given that, uh, we are given a velocity here, 250 meter per second we are given a velocity 250 meter per second we are given this as well now we are asked to calculate uh, this line pq that is if it's fired from the point where it is fired to where it drops it's from the point where it's fired to where it drops fired at p and hits a point q so we asked to fight to calculate this this range from year to year so that is a range so we can say that uh, line PQ is equals to the range of this uh, a projectile uh, motion here of range R so we can say that comfortably and it will uh, go with whatever we are going to do now now from this we know that our range Okay, let me use let me take it up here let me write it a bit higher we know that our range r is equals to u x times t u s times t where where our where our u x that's the initial velocity at in the x direction the velocity in the x direction and this is equals to u cos theta u cos theta so if you did the projectile very well you must have come across this so and this is what we are having now we can now say that therefore since our ux is equals to u cos theta our range r which is also equals to this line pq is equals to u cos theta times t times t so if we have that we can go ahead and substitute the values that this is equals to our u was given to us as 250 so that is 250 times our cos theta our theta is 42 degrees so i'm going to take that 42 times our time we are looking at is 40 seconds we we're given from the equation 40 seconds so we go ahead with this now by the time you multiply 250 times cos 42 degrees times 40 you will have approximately to two decimal place 740 okay 7431 point four five so you are going to have this four five meter so this is what you are going to have at the end of the day as the supposed range that we're asked to calculate so this is what you do when you have a question like this okay stay tuned as we solve more questions in the next part of the video